ACV presents Getting the Shot with Corey Rich. Hi, I'm Corey Rich, and you're watching Adorama TV. Adorama is the place that I buy all of my still photography and all of my video equipment. Everything that I'm going to use in this episode, you can buy at Adorama.com. And remember, videos like this are published all the time with tons of free information, great educational tools, so tune in and learn how to shoot better stills and video. In this episode, I'm really going to focus on some of the things you need to do before you're actually on the hill shooting skiing. It really starts in terms of selecting your model. They need to be willing to play the game. They need to be involved and engaged in what you're doing. I don't care whether that's your spouse, your kids, or whether it's a professional athlete. They've got to be open-minded and willing to spend the time to make pictures because it actually takes time. It's, you can't just go out and ski all day as fast as you can. You have to slow down, it takes time to get into position, and they've got to be willing to understand that they're going to spend a little time standing around waiting for you to get into position as the photographer. The next thing that I want to do is select the correct clothing. So we'll oftentimes start in the morning standing at the truck looking at wardrobe, actually looking at what the athlete is going to be wearing. For example, a blue jacket against a blue sky, not going to work. On the other hand, a bright jacket against a blue sky, that begins to work. I'm also looking for the right combination of colors. It's great if there's some pairings. You know, maybe the jacket matches the boots or the helmet matches the poles. Any combination of colors that look like they're in sync, that it was intentional, makes the image a little more aesthetically pleasing. It's just very subconsciously, when you see that photograph, your subject jumps off of the screen at you. That's what you want. You want vibrant colors that really pop. When I'm shooting skiing, I like to put all of my camera gear inside of a backpack. And I like the rear entry backpack. I'm using a Low Pro Flipside AW500. That allows me to carry a fair amount of equipment, or if I don't need to carry as much glass, then I can actually stuff some of my extra ski clothes in the backpack if I'm overheating or pull them out if I'm getting cold. One other tip, and this is, this is one to really live and die by, no matter what, you always zip your backpack when you're shooting photos. I stop in the middle of the run, I take my backpack off, I pull out a camera and a lens, and I start shooting pictures. Absolutely, unequivocally, you zip your bag up while you're shooting because inevitably someone's going to ski by either accidentally or intentionally and spray your bag with snow. And once that sucker fills up, you're going to be cleaning lenses and cleaning out your bag for an hour plus, and then you've lost those pictures. My basic kit when I'm on the mountain is actually on the wide side, I'm 14 to 24 millimeter 2.8 lens. I love that lens. It's an amazing look that the 14 to 24 provides. It allows me to shoot in low light. And I really like the way that it handles the wide angle perspective. On the telephoto zoom side, I carry the 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 Nikkor lens. Great lens. It's kind of my go-to lens, actually. I usually leave my camera attached to the 70 to 200. And if I open my backpack, that's the first camera body and lens I'm pulling out to start shooting. If I really want compression, I'll bring the 200 to 400 f4 Nikkor lens. That's a lot of weight to carry around, but it's an incredibly sharp lens and really allows me to suck that background in when I'm trying to work situations or when I can't get very close to the athlete. These days I'm using the Nikon D4S. The Nikon D4S is sort of the ultimate sports photographer's camera. Amazing autofocus. Once it locks in, it's as though you can't make an out of focus picture. Razor sharp and super fast. Inside the camera I'm using a CF card. It's the SanDisk Extreme Pro 128 gigabyte card. I'm using such a high capacity card because I don't want to have to change cards once I'm in the field. The other thing that I do before I even leave the car is I put on sunblock. It's really bright out here. You know, the beauty is the snow is reflecting light back up into our face, so it makes for great photography. But the flip side is for us fair skinned guys, you really need to lay on the sunblock. And I do it repeatedly. Every couple of hours, I'll put on a pretty heavy duty sunblock to make sure I'm not getting cooked. I'm also wearing a hat, a ball cap, and the reason I have that ball cap on is to just keep that direct sun out of my face. When it comes to loading the chairlift, one of the things I do is take my backpack off, actually. I, I ask the neighbor in line next to me, hey, is there a chance I can have an empty space? I have a pretty big backpack. And I'm literally holding the backpack with one hand 
Usually folks are pretty nice. They'll allow me to have an empty seat. I set the camera bag right down on the seat, stick my poles under my legs, and of course I put the bar down immediately. By having that extra space, it allows me to actually have a platform to work out of. I can literally open the backpack and start manipulating lenses, changing lenses, working with the camera, heck, even shooting pictures. And if I can't actually have that extra space, then I literally put the backpack on my lap. I'm never leaving the backpack on, meaning the straps are never on my shoulders the way I'm wearing it right now. Because of course, what you've realized quickly is if you sit down on the chair with the backpack on, you're not really gonna sit down on the chair. You're gonna get pushed right off the chair. And you feel pretty foolish when you're laying on your face in front of everybody as they have to stop the chair. I'm Corey Rich. We're in Lake Tahoe, California. Thank you guys for tuning in. You've been watching Adorama TV. There's tons of videos like this published all the time. Great educational tools, tons of information for free. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you soon. great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.